easier when I was a kid.
sacrifice. I did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. By the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Mind your footing. Ah. my way across. Mm -hmm. 
it's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Glad that's over. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Sadie Zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well... He died alone, and I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. 
Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who could I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh, See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children, after all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... There's only one. I miss you. Liz, you were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Margo, how 
you holding up? Um, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? survived Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for you. Loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. This is going. Continue.
When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Protect atmosphere. 